dragon spirit floods your mind and memory in a great torrent of power. He is with you. He is within you. He is you. The next words that spill from your mouth are not yours, but the worms. I am Ansor, heart of the gate, butchered in flesh, risen in spirit. Your lips resist, then yield. Ansur's thoughts flow out of you as if they were your own. The spirit pauses, and you feel the astral prism stir. Ansur senses the Emperor's presence within it. Answer me, Facey. Why have you come? deep sigh resonates within you. The torrent stills, only disturbed by the dragon's next words. Brack, my words aren't meant for you. They're meant for him. The Emperor stirs in the astral prison, and in you, calm, curious, and detached. presence has stirred me, as it ever did. I am awakened. Answer me. It's been too long. Alderaan? No. I don't believe it. A name I once answered to. A name I did not expect to hear. Least of all from the mouth of an old friend. Friend. Yes. And more. Until you killed me. Have you come to dance on my bones, Borderan? Was slaying me not satisfaction enough? Satisfaction? No. You left me no choice. You had every choice. You were becoming illithid. I offered you merciful death. You chose to fight. And now you bring your thrall before me. How far has the great Borderan fallen? Stillness. Ansur's consciousness hovers just above yours, searching, seeing. Dear answer. Enough! I gave you everything, Borderan. And you repaid me in slaughter. It is time I return the favor. Let my bones rise and the storms gather. Witness, Borderan. The final tempest has come. I am the heart of the gate. I am the one who roars! This time, you will not escape it! And so, I never thought I'd see him again. My past is past. I concealed nothing from you. I simply left out the details that were not pertinent to our cause. But it seems you are interested in them. Such sentimentality. Very well. It's like I always told you. I was just like you. An adventurer who yearned for greatness. And in mortal terms, I achieved it. As captain of the Wandering Eye, I acquired enough gold to fan Baldur's Gate. I stayed for a while to watch my city grow. But it was not enough. I grew restless again. The sea called to me, and I ran to her with open arms. Life at sea was not easy. Our last adventure was ruinous. My ship was destroyed. My crew lost. But my spirit was far from broken. 
I was determined to return in triumph once again. I heard of treasure in Moonrise. I strove to find it. What I found was an illithid colony, where I acquired a tadpole much like yours, and became a mind flayer, enthralled to the Elder Brain. It was Ansor who found me. Ansor who pulled me from the Brain's domination. Ansor who brought me home. He sought to cure me of my sickness, called on every healer he could find, nearly broke his spirit in the attempt. But he failed to understand. I wanted no healing. I was not sick. Of course I did. More so because it was Ansor. Even after he had exhausted all possibility of reversing my condition, he still clung to hope. I tried to convince him of my reality. I was on the cusp of greatness beyond my wildest dreams. But all he could see was a mind flare. He came to me as I slept. A mercy killing in his mind. I saw the tears. I felt his grief. I had no choice but to kill him first. It was an act of self-preservation. Words easier said than lived by. Do not think that I am ignorant of what I have lost. I may not regret my actions, but I do regret that they were necessary. While the past is beyond my influence, the present is not. It is time we move on. Two nether stones remain in the hands of the Chosen. We must find them before we confront the brain. <laughs>